Hi you guys, before we start this video, I just want to say if you or anyone that you know is currently struggling with suicidal thoughts, depression, loneliness, or sadness, please feel free to reach out to call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, okay? It is open 24-7. Seven, okay and it is free and it is completely confidential and it gives advice a listening ear as well as provides free resources for help and please always remember that you are not alone and it can and will get better just take things one day at a time one step at a time one breath at a time Hey, what's goody, what's goody, what's goody, y'all? It's your girl, Jamika, back with another YouTube video. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch this video with me. Please make sure that you like, share, comment, subscribe, and smash that notification button down below so you can be one of the first people to see my videos as soon as I upload them. Because I know that y'all love the juice, and you know that I stay having the juice. So like I always tell y'all beautiful people, pass me your cups so I can fill you up, okay? Now let's get right into the video. Lego. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, uh, Michelle Williams, who is a former band member of the mega super huge R&B group Destiny's Child, along uh, band members Beyonce and Kelly Rowland, um, she has been, you know, pretty much battling with depression since she was younger, and she's been very open and vocal about this in plenty of interviews. Check it out. So many people are walking around acting like they've got it all together, you know, and they're suffering. I've been suffering from depression. Um, so it got really, really bad to the point of I was suicidal. I was, I was to that place where it got so dark and heavy because sometimes you feel like I, I'm the provider. I take care of people. I'm not supposed to be feeling this way. What do I do? I want it out. So it's no secret that Michelle Williams has been battling for years with depression and occasional suicidal thoughts um, and even some attempts. Um, but recently in her personal life, she's been going through a lot, which is causing it to get even worse. So much so that she's even checked herself into the mental hospital to make sure that she is prevented from causing herself any harm and basically to get all the support that she can to get through this very difficult time in her life. Shortly after news broke that she checked herself into the mental hospital, she took to Instagram to write this. For years I have dedicated myself to increasing awareness of mental health and empowering people to recognize when it's time to seek help, support, and guidance from those that love and care for your well-being. I recently listened to the same advice I have given to thousands around the world and sought help from a great team of healthcare professionals. Today, I proudly, happily, and healthily stand here as someone who will continue to always lead by example as I tirelessly advocate for the betterment of those in need. If you change your mind, you can change your life. You know, it's people like Michelle that I really appreciate. It's not easy to speak up and speak out and be vocal and open and honest about something so serious. A lot of people dealing with sadness or loneliness or depression, you know, um, they're so embarrassed or ashamed and they just try to keep it to themselves. They don't want to feel like they're burdening anyone else with their problem. Or they are just simply ashamed because they don't want to admit or confess their depression because they are afraid of how other people will think of them and what they'll say about them. You know, it's sad. And that's why I like the point that Michelle made when she said she wants to make it to a point where it is normalized to speak about these things. Um, I want to normalize this mental health discussion. So what she's saying is she would like us to be able to openly talk about these things more comfortably without feeling judged or afraid. I would really suggest going to the JW.org website and reading Help from the God of Comfort um, article. 
Um, it's a very good article. It's very inspiring, encouraging, and most of all, comforting. Um, it says, you know, is God accessible to the depressed? Um, how can the depressed get comfort from God? What if feelings of unworthiness make us think that our prayers are not being heard? What if we are too distraught to put our feelings into words? How does God answer our prayers? You know, um, scriptures and also experiences of people from back then in the Bible, as well as recent experiences from people still living, what they go through and how the Bibles help them. Then it even goes to speak on a time where there will be no more depression um, in the future to come, no more sickness, death, sadness, or physical pain, emotional pain, financial issues, anything like that to be sad, stressed, or worried over. Um, it's just very comforting, inspiring, and more importantly, like I said, you know, like it's comforting more than anything, you know. Um, so I would definitely read this article on the JW.org website if I was you. That's just some little advice from me. Or if you don't want to go to the actual website, just pause this video and read it. You can kind of control how fast or slow you want to, you know, read through the article um, by, you know, stopping and playing the video. Um, so anyways, that's just a suggestion for me. I hope that it does bring you peace and a little bit of comfort. Anyways, so with that being said, I think we all should do two main things. We should, one, work on mustering up the courage to really speak up and speak out about things that affect us in a very major way where we feel very depressed or sad or lonely or have suicidal thoughts instead of being ashamed and embarrassed get help don't worry about anything else but getting help okay and secondly worry and focus on doing better as far as when other people do speak up about it don't judge them don't judge them don't criticize them don't tease them or make fun of them um, just try to be a good listening ear and be there for them give support and give love and comfort even if you don't know what to say always just be a good listening ear and if you think that they need more help than you can give then please you reach out to the suicide prevention lifeline and try to get them some help and be a good friend to them okay Anyways, y'all, that's a wrap on this video. Please make sure that you like, share, comment, subscribe. Smash that notification button down below so you can be one of the first people to check out my videos as soon as I upload them. Because I know that y'all love the juice and you know that I stay having the juice. So like I always tell y'all beautiful, beautiful people, pass me your cups so I can fill you up, okay? And until next time, be good to yourselves and be good to each other. Bye. Peace. I don't show, I don't show.